I have a flat tire. In this video I'll show you one way to get it fixed. The proper way to get it fixed is to have a mushroom patch applied on the inside of the tire. If you don't have the time or the tools to get it fixed properly, a temporary fix can be applied to it. You can do a roadside emergency repair by using this. I'll show you how this works and we'll do it by the book. These are the manufacturer's instructions that do not come printed on the can. So you have to have the two together. The instructions are not on the can. These are the instructions. So, this product is an expanding latex foam that's pressurized inside this can. This latex foam should be filled inside the tire where it spreads out and as it expands and spreads it finds and fills every nook and cranny including the one that deflated the tire in the first place well that's the theory don't you love products that live up to uh, the manufacturers claims this one does they modestly claim that you can confidently drive several hundred kilometers before repairing the tire in the traditional way on this tire I used this expanding latex foam and I used the tire until the very moment that I really had to replace it because I wore it down to the steel belt there and you can see uh, the inside surface of the tire appears to be gritty or uneven as a film is uh, created there and uh, the inside is coated here by contrast the front tire this has never seen expanding latex foam ever in its entire lifetime and you can see it's clean and doesn't have that grittiness in the middle here is the tire again and uh, I had this serious serious big gash here on the side or close to the side wall there and uh, on the inside you can see that uh, no patch has ever been applied to this tire so the expanding latex foam held on this. It held for 5,800 kilometers. So they say several hundred kilometers. For me it lasted 5,800 kilometers. Now, please don't compromise your safety by wearing the tire down to the steel belt. Don't compromise the safety of other road users either. And don't do this at home. This was an experiment done in a way experiments are done. Now, how to use the product. Step one, remove the foreign object from the tire. So if it's got a nail or a screw or whatever deflated it, take it out. Step two, make sure that the tire is absolutely deflated by uh, depressing the uh, valve stem and totally, totally getting rid of any pressure inside the tire because there is pressurized gases inside the can and the pressurized gases will inflate the tire for you. If there is pressure in the first place inside the tire to begin with the added pressure from the can that's transferred might burst your tire and if they do you will not be a happy camper so remove the foreign object from the tire and totally deflate it then at the end of this hose here you can see there is a thread there I don't know how to get a good angle on it yeah something like that there you go a thread make sure this thread is clean make sure the thread on the wheel is also clean uh, make a test fit make sure the two threads match and they match together flawlessly when you're done that and if it's cold in the winter heat up the can by either your hand or take it inside for an hour or something or heat it under your arm whatever you do heat it up to room temperature this is the middle of summer so I don't have to worry about that then you have to shake up the inside of it for several minutes now you don't want to watch me do that so we'll skip it but you have to shake it up for several minutes when you're done uh, connect the hose to the valve stem rotate the valve stem up until it's vertical and upside down here and the can is connected to it 
when it's done just pe press the big red button at the end of the can and wait until all the foam comes out and transfers to the inside of the tire through the hose you can see the foam bubbling through the hose when uh, the pressure equalizes out between the can and the tire and there is no more foam transfer disconnect the hose from the tire and start up the bike and get ready to ride because you have to uh, spin the wheel for about 10-20 minutes you have to ride a bike at moderate speeds to distribute the latex foam evenly everywhere to make sure it does find every nook and cranny including the hole that deflated the tire in the first place okay so get ready to ride the bike for 10-20 minutes at moderate speeds that's how to use the product and uh, you take care